Welcome back, you guys. This is the Sindra. Continuing my EU4 campaign as the Aztecs. And we are almost done conquering everything around us. Give me a second here while I pour myself a drink. And we only have Zeu left to conquer. And I've been debating whether I should try to force him to change his religion so that I don't have to convert this. Or if I should just suck it up and kill him and then, you know, convert his provinces myself. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He is um, Mayan at the moment. How much is he worth? He's worth 66. So even if I do convert him, I can still eat him up, I think. Fine. Wait, can I still do a flower war against him? Yeah, I can. So I could actually vassalize him through that CB. Uh, make him a vassal. Force him to change his religion and then just annex him later. Uh, they have national unrest and fort defense. That's not very interesting at all. Not very interesting at all. Um, I think we'll just go and speed forward while we uh, figure out what to do here. Uh, we can get some military tech right now. And uh, do we want that? We don't need that. I could chill with that for a second while I get some admin points here. Um, let's give you points, give me the minister, and give me Diplo. Thank you. Nice. Very, very nice. So we're about to have Klapanic Separatists. Oh yeah, we're building a bunch of temples and marketplaces, so our income is going to skyrocket after this. I hope. Um, Yopi... This one. Just go over there and sit on that province. That should probably force them to get completely suppressed and they won't be able to fire. The quiche separatists. Overextension. That will go away soon once I finish coring. Non-accepted culture. Is that a thing we could do here? Um, right. This is three different culture groups. Uh, okay. The families left behind. I'll take the hit to the tax modifier. We make a lot of money through gold. Uh, it's not our highest income. Taxation is actually the highest. Well, interesting. And I have not decided on what ideas to go for here. I mean, flower wars. Cost of reducing war exhaustion. No. Yearly legitimacy. That's... Uh... This one is okay, but it's only 10%. Really? This one is good. Eagles and Jaguars. National Tax Modifier, that's fine. Production Efficiency. So these three are really good. And then we get Spy Network Construction. Oh boy. So we get National Manpower Modifier, 25%. So we get Recovery Speed and we get Manpower Modifier as well. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I think I will just CB up against ZU though. Uh, there's a few provinces here, like these two, I cannot get a CB on. So this is 10. And this is one here is also 10. This is his capital. Yeah, let's just get a CB on you. Thank you. Uh, we're actually stockpiling some manpower. That's nice. But this might get kind of boring for a second now while we wait for, uh, you know, people to get here. The colonial nations. No, not the colonial nations. Like, the western nations. Uh, I don't want to take the stab hit. Oh, I'll take the hit to legitimacy. Oh boy. Well, it's fine. You're actually above 60 for like six months. That should give us a bit more manpower here. So this has been cored completely. And Zio insulted us. Those bastards. Um, how long is this truce? One more year in May. Okay. We can continue to convert these guys. There's one province left here. It's going to take us 40 months. Non-accepted culture. Eh... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this culture here. We have so many of them. 
uh, right now we are a kingdom and we need another 700 plus development in order to become an empire. But we do have Tlapanic here, 10%. Tekos, 13, 10. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make you into a state. And let's full core you. Beautiful. Do you guys want anything else? No, you're happy with this. Then I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Uh, Kish might decide to pop up here. We got another Splendor. Own all provinces of your culture group. That's true. I got that. Prestige per development? No. Institution spread? No, that's not going to work for us. We don't have ships. We don't have mercenaries. We don't have ships. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll take this one. I'll get some prestige when I convert stuff. Man, this splendor thing is bad for colonial nations. Oh, actually, native. Primitive nations, that's the one. I could promote you. You're 46, though. Can I swap you for somebody better? No, these are all level 2s. Oh, wait, you're half-priced. So are you. Inflation reduction. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see here. If I change you... This guy is 34 years old. Let's take him and then let's promote him. No, he's level 2. That's fine. We can keep him level 2. Half price. Do I have anything else available to me? Half price? No. No. Okay. And I'm still making money. Uh, any other buildings we could get here? Uh, temple. Oh, two more here. If it's point one or above, I'm all for that. I'll take the autonomy. Any other buildings? Marketplaces? No, we only have two places with a center of trade. So we don't need that. Sorcerer disappears. Thank you. I guess we could do this one as well. What's the autonomy here? Uh, it might get up to point 0.1 once the autonomy drops. So our truce with Zeal is up. But Kish... Oh. Thank you. I suppose. No, I just took a stab hit, didn't I? Crap. Wait, wait, wait. Global settler increase? That's my heir. Ooh, expansionist. I don't remember seeing that either. That one seems to be kind of rare. Wait, why is your heir like two years? It must be your brother or something. He's two years younger than you. Uh, let's see here. Um, 4 1. I mean, I have nothing but infantry. I could get that cannon. Yeah, let's get the cannon. Commoner flaunting his wealth. Let's get the admin. Yeah, it's. F Doom does not matter to me at all. None whatsoever. Uh, how wide can we go right now? 24! I don't have that much manpower, though. What are the chances you actually decide to fire? Non-accepted culture, separatism. Yeah, you're probably gonna fire. It's size over here as well. I think we can wipe out ZU relatively quickly, before these guys do any damage to us. Too much damage to us, that is. Uh, oh, they just hit 90 as I was moving. Really? Thing is, if I sit in these provinces, the uh, the unrest goes away completely. No, it doesn't. Guatemala still has unrest. So they could fire on top of us. Religious uproar. Um, lose... Wait, what? Aztec, get American Plains Warrior. Oh, I got a free warrior. But we got some unrest over here. That's fine. They're gonna fire anyway. So, group up over here. Come on, get in there. There we go. And then we go ahead and dive in on you. Ah, uh, they got the province. It's a bit more separatism, but it's not gonna be an issue. So now we just have Itza in Chia Pass. Really? Uh, can we suppress that? No, I don't think we have enough troops to completely suppress that. Uh, no. If we have one more year pass, it will drop by 0.5, so that's most of it gone. 
I just don't want these guys to fire. It's annoying. I would like to wipe out Ziyu. Just so we finish this area. It's taken us a hundred years. I'm betting that's not a record in any shape or form. Uh huh. Let's go up to 16. Come on, drop to zero. There we go. New year, and you are 0, 0.0. Nice. Let's wait until he hits zero, and then I'll go ahead and wipe out Zio. That should be pretty good. You're probably scared to death of us. Hostile, yeah, but you're not really a danger to me. Uh, sickness of ruler. Well, the other guy took over right now, so we have global settler increase. Oh, but he's... this guy's cruel. A zero, four, six. Okay. Fascinating. What is your tech level? Five, six, six. Okay. I'm thinking we go ahead and we do a Flower War CB against this guy. And then sometime in the future we go ahead and annex him. How about that? I need to keep my admin. Let's just do a Flower War. I know they're over here. Somewhere. There we go. Caught you. I got you, bitch. Okay, so. Stack wipe. You only have a capital fort. So. Let's do... This four stack goes over here. Ah. Damn it! I forgot my hotkeys here. There we go. I think that should be fine-ish. Assuming we don't get any attrition takes that ruin us here. And... Carpet Siege done! Okay. We lost the general. Eh, it's fine. So, in this flower war, I'm gonna go ahead and demand that you just become my bitch. There we go. Congratulations. Welcome to the fold. Now, printing industry. Wow, we just have the printing industry spawn on us. Ah. Yeah, we are so many institutions behind here. We're at the printing press. Ah, that's annoying. Very, very annoying. Stop spying on him. We're about to finish this colony up here, so we can finally grab this one. I already killed all the natives, so we're gonna grab the estuary up there. Very, very nice. So how disloyal are you? You're very, very disloyal. Uh-huh. Well, it's fine. We're going to keep you for a while. Until we can do something with you. Diplo annex you. You took economic ideas. Well... Tax, construction cost, inflation, monthly autonomy change. Well, I'm guessing the development cost is nice, but we can't develop uh, any institutions here. None whatsoever. So, I just finished converting this, so we can turn this one off. Did I leave anything else on? What do I have here? Local defensiveness. Whoops. Wait, are you actually prospering? Damn! Cool. Uh, expansion, yes. Let's just pay all the money. Get the, the admin points. Go away. Nice! So, we're done with conquering everybody here. And we just have to wait for some Western nation to get over here so we can kill them. Right? Or European nation, to be exact. Uh, I could go ahead and take uh, exploration ideas. It's going to give us another colonist, so we can start expanding south as well. Um, if I just take one point here. If I just take this to get the colonist, we also have another one here, but I don't want to spend the admin points. We're behind on admin. Give me exploration, and I'll take the colonist. Okay, so. Let's see here. Uh, we should start expanding into Panama, right? I cannot start... No, I have to finish the core. Um, Let's go down here. 
and let's try to grab the Panama Canal. How about that? What is the quickest way through there? Well, one, two. Nah. It seems I have to go through three provinces to get to this one. Yeah. I have to I have to start with these two. This one has 500, this one has 1500. Okay, let's give you a uh, liter here. How much is this going to cost me? Uh, three. Nice, thank you. Send you here. Let's just kill some natives. Hello, that was England. Let's go ahead and kill these guys as well. Let's go down to Nicaragua. And kill you as well. So we've got, you know, two extra provinces we can start colonizing. And in the meantime, let's go up north and start killing some natives up there. Uh, we got Rebel Uprising. Mayan Zealots. Really? Well, just sit over here for a second then. We could take the military tech, it's fine. How many can we stack up? We can stack up to 2,500 almost. Okay. Uh, they have better Diplotech than us. Oh, they rose up right next to me. Thank you very much. Okay. And now we have Itza Separatists. And Klaponic Separatists. They're, just, they're done. They're done. Let's just keep going. Yeah. This might get kind of boring. I'm just warning you guys right now. We're going to be sitting on our hands until we can, you know do something here. Yeah, I still can't send them. Even with uh, exploration ideas. I thought maybe if I took exploration I could then start colonizing anything I could see, but nope. So we got this province ready. What is this? Is this a crocodile? Really? I'm guessing this is Louisiana? Or why is there a crocodile here? What is this state? What is a famous crocodile state in uh, in America? Galveston Bay. I'm pretty sure Texas doesn't start until like... I think it's one of these two rivers. I think both of them. I have no idea. I don't know my uh, American geography that well. If I check states and territories... Uh, areas. This is area, Texas. Yeah, I thought so. So this is Texas. And this is Tamoy Le Paz. Uh huh, I can see the states like this. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I can't actually explore anything. Yeah. So let's just go back. Ah, is there any way we can maximize some settler growth? New World Missions, really? Native Uprising Chance, Native Assimilation. I don't think this is going to work for us. Our Native Assimilation is zero because <laughs> there are no natives. I killed all the natives. But this one will work. This one just global settler increase goes up. That's perfect. Uh, missionary strength, institution spread, no. Alright. So we have a 150% increased cost for our tax here. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. So we can keep improving by 97 more. Yeah. Let's take a look at your opinion of me. A half core, yeah. Force vassalized us. That's gonna go away in like 25 years, maybe? Damn. I need to get him to 190 positive. <laughs> yeah. And that minus 20 for having core is uh, annoying. Sickness of ruler. Oh, he survived. Good, good, good. I'll take the autonomy hit. So, what do we do now? Is there anything I should be doing right at this minute? Um, 
I guess I could be drilling. Uh, we could max out my army. Let's get uh, some cav as well. We could technically get two cav and go... There we go. So we're 24 wide with a cannon. And we have enough room for nine more dudes. Yeah, this is fine. We cannot build any boats because we don't have any sailors. You guys are down to 60% here. And because my army is increasing, you're getting a slightly more loyal, aren't you? Yes, you are. We can placate you. You're down to 50. Oh, you're down to 49. So we can get a royal marriage with you. That's going to drop you by another 5. Thank you. Wait for the monthly tech. What? Outraged. Really? All right. Yeah, they also have very low trust with us. It's fine. I think I can still convert him right now. Enforce religion? They have to be positive. Their opinion of us must be positive. Okay, so once it stops being negative here, we can try to force them to like us a bit more here. We can go another 27 more opinion. So we'll be fine. We are going to be fine. We can go ahead and convert you. That's going to take a while as well. An advisor died. It's the cheap, it's the level 2 half price one that died. Fuck. Okay. See, 35, you're 30. But you're just prestige. I'll take you. That, what? No. There we go. Press the wrong key. Okay, now you are positive. So I can now tell you to enforce religion on you. That's going to piss you off a lot. Thank you very much. Countryside Sorcerer returns. Can we just kill this fucking sorcerer? It can't be the same guy this entire time, right? We got fish in Pipple. We caught the sorcerer. Eh, we'll just cut his hair. I don't need the unrest. My doom is at zero, so we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, you're almost capped here, buddy. Ah... Uh... I'm tempted just to stockpile a lot of Monarch Points. Hopefully I can, you know, reform my religion soonish. Uh, this kind of scares me though, that if I get some nation I can reform my religion off, aren't they just going to be so strong they can just wipe me out? Uh, grant aid. Uh, sure, it's money. It's just money. Do we just hit speed 5 here? I don't see why not. I mean, is there anything else we could be doing? We could technically be doing more colonizing because I have... Huh. Yeah, that's actually something we could do. Like, I want to finish this state over here. So let's move these guys here and let's kill the natives. Uh, colonial migration. Where do they go? Oh, they went to the other province. <laughs> so I lost 200 people here and I got 200 people here instead. Okay, kill the natives. Move on. And kill the natives. Thank you. So, I'm gonna borrow you for a second here. Let's send you over here just to start this. We call you, send you. And there we go. We call you. This is going to get expensive, I know. But we can turn off our army. Rooting out corruption and army maintenance. Hell, we could even turn off our fort. But I want my army tradition to stay there. So, maybe not. Uh, you know. The settler chance is 11% per month. Which is quite high, so these are going to take a while, and they are going to cost us a lot of money. Yeah. But let's keep converting, ah, uh, colonizing up north. If I have to take a loan, I'm kind of fine with that, but who exactly are we taking a loan from? There goes my spy master. Global tariff. 
Really? That's my only option? God damn it. It's really bad. Global Tariff. So, this one is going to get finished. We got Quiche Shepherdists. Come on, finish. Our truce with Zeo is up. Uh, they still hate our guts, don't they? 82. Yeah, I figured. Nice. We finished the colony here. Let's move on. Now we're making money. Let's put it on speed for you. What is this? Help him out. Sure. It's just money. But what exactly am I helping him with? Okay, so what we're up we're actually in Mexico right now. That's good. Get over here and just chill there. In case I have to go and kill some uh, more natives. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to fire. One more year passes. Yeah, but it's December. And then they should drop to zero. There we go. Beautiful. So I wonder how long it's going to take us to actually reform this religion. There's no way to just call them over, right? I mean, I can't see anybody colonizing Cuba yet. Which is, you know... Surprising? I thought Cuba was very valuable. I, I can't see anything apart from this. This is all my I have to see here. I think I'll just keep the diplomat there. I'm not going to use him for anything else. I'll just stay there. Uh, tech is ready here. I mean, I could take it right about now. Colonial range. That doesn't matter to us. We can't colonize like that. Let's see. We can get Conquistador. Colonial range. Global settler increase plus 20 over here. We could technically get three ideas at once here. It's costing us 360 each time here. Ooh. Do we need anything from the Diplo ideas? We can't grab any boats, so that's useless. This goes up at level 10, so no. Fuck it, let's go for this. Give me global settler increase. Global tariffs and another colonist. Nice, I just did six ideas at once here. I'm gonna send you over here to finish this. So now we're not losing money anymore because we got that third colonist. It dropped from 18 ducats in maintenance for colonies down to 10. Very, very nice. We call you? No, I'm gonna maintain you. Damn it. Uh, I'm just so used to calling that. I said maintain diplomats. So just stay there and keep it topped off. So, we can finally grab military tech 8 here. Come on. Do this. Do it. Yeah, I don't think it matters anymore. Okay, there we go, and there we go. 668. We can now build workshops and. Ooh. Manufactories. Military divided. Seeds ability, always. Workshop. Oh, yeah, we got some sugar and gems. So let's buy these three, at the very least. Increase our income some more. We're making two ducats. That's something. That's definitely something. Um, this is gonna get so boring. Uh, let's see here. We can still sacrifice. We can place relative on the throne. Uh, do I want to do that? No, not really. He is making money. He's got a lot of cash as well. I could tell him to divert to trade. I could just placate him. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all this prestige. So let's placate him. Now it's plateaued, so that's fine. All that prestige was gonna go to waste anyway. Nice. Let's go ahead and pause it here. So, we've finished conquering the entire area. Uh, I've got myself a single vassal of Ziyu, who is um, hopefully converting everything of his. Yeah, he's got three provinces converted, he's got four left. That's fine. He might start getting some rebellions. 
Mayan zealots. Uh, not, no, he'll be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. But we're just sort of sitting on our hands waiting for some of these, uh, like Castile or Portugal or Great Britain, France. I don't really care. Scottish. Netherlands. I don't care. Anybody. Just come to me so I can <sighs> reform my religion off you. Please. I'm begging you. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.